you guys, you know, I have to say, when I think of soul of San Francisco, you both uh, to embody that word to me. I mean, it's, it is people like you, artists like you, that are what I think of when I think of San Francisco. Um, so I realize that soul, the soul of San Francisco really are the people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. For you, uh, what the, 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 the thing about being here, the essence of what it is, what is it that for you really is the most important to on the other side of this, again, sort of blossom or grow or be more evident for all of us? What, what, what is that elusive mm-hmm. thing? I hope that the heart, the heart of the city, I hope that I dream that San Francisco's heart will come back bigger and brighter than before. We were losing a lot, you know, yesterday or uh, two, or three week, two or three months ago when, when the world was upside, when the world was right. Now the world is upside down. And I think that what I'd love to be able to dream and believe is that with, this is all for a, a wonderful, spectacular reason. Or do we dare dream at all? You know, uh, we you know, at Cultural Odyssey, we work with Attain. And Attain is a group of African-American artists that E.G. Um, shepherds and helps them to find financial independence. And, and the young people yesterday, they were, we had a Zoom meeting yesterday, and they were saying, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for, for this to be over. And I would say to everybody, just keep a lot of young folks on your team. You know, because, because you know, they, they dare dream anyways. And uh, um, I was listening to someone recently who said, we have to be careful with, the, with how morose we may get or how uh, burnt out we may get, because a lot of it is that we're simply grieving for yesterday. You know, it's like, and that's over and that's done for whatever reasons. And uh, I think about, there's a beautiful line from an Otis Redding song. Um, I got dreams to remember I got dreams to remember I think uh, around these times and actually a little bit before this whole pandemic uh, came about um, I think I've been having dreams dreams when I'm asleep dreams when I'm awake waking dreams daydreams and uh, a lot of times I dream, since I'm a composer and a musician, I dream compositions. I dream uh, my music. San Francisco has been a very, very special place for myself, for Redessa, and for our company, Cultural Odyssey. Also due to the fact that we've been here in, in the trenches and for so long, Cultural Odyssey now is over 40 years. Uh, and then I, w- I was here, you know, I'm getting ready to celebrate the 50th year of the founding of my band, The Pyramids, which was founded in 1972. But I got here in 74. But I think what it is, is uh, because of our longevity here, the connections that we have made with the, 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 the foundation community, the San Francisco Art Commission, uh, the California Arts Council, these are, are, are part of the reason, I think, what, what I, what, why I love so much about living here in San Francisco that it has supported the art that I make, the art that Cultural Odyssey continues to make with and myself. And as she said, the music history <laughs> that has come, and I, I just feel to be honored to be a part of this music history. I love the Presidio Theater. We got to open that up and make it happen. You know, we got to <laughs> do that. So, I mean, I think that we're, we are, we're on the verge of, of um, a new day. It's- Blessings abound. Blessings abound. You guys take good care of yourself. Okay. You too. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Bye. Bye bye.